Hi, this is Karen Dickerel with Glimmers of Joy for the month of June. And our topic today is forgiveness. So I've been doing a lot of reading and um, the last couple of months, some of it just um, for fun, some of it is self-improvement and some is on self-compassion. And one of the things that has really struck me is the importance of forgiveness. And it's been a theme that runs through a lot of different materials, again, as, as I've been looking. Unresolved conflict can go deeper than you realize. And so there are rewards with forgiveness. We can lower our risk of heart attacks. We can look at our cholesterol levels as improving, maybe improve our sleep habits, reduce pain, and also our blood pressure improves. So there's some real marked differences when we can forgive others. There may be a physical burden of being hurt or disappointed. And so sometimes we, when we're dealing with issues of lack of forgiveness, we might feel that fight or flight mode, or we can experience changes in our heart rate, or our blood pressure goes up, or we're not fighting off and we're not as resistant to um, different kinds of illnesses. And there's an increased risk of depression and heart disease and diabetes that goes along with some of the issues related to our lack of being able to forgive. Forgiveness calms our stress levels and leads to improved health. And if we can learn to be more forgiving, that can help us in many different perspectives of our life. And it's more than just words. It's more than just what you say or what you write. It's a conscious decision to let go of those negative feelings that you have, whether the person deserves it or not. So you begin to feel that empathy and that compassion and sometimes even affection for the person that wronged you. So you start to turn things around and see things in a different light. Desmond Tutu says, forgiveness says you are given another chance to make a new beginning. And with that, it's sometimes thinking about how do you make forgiveness a part of your life? Part of that is just reflection and remembering and thinking about maybe better times in your life or things that maybe were happier um, and the good things that happened and trying to empathize with the other person to see things from their point of view. And, and maybe they don't have the same life experiences that you've had. So just looking at that and really forgiving deeply, letting go of expectations and, and moving forward with this is what is and this is what is good and decide to forgive. And sometimes we just simply need to forgive ourselves because sometimes we don't think about what um, impact it's carrying on our own well-being and how we relate to others. So we need to remember that you can't force someone to forgive you. As much as you'd like someone to forgive you, you can't force it. It has to come from them. Others need to move forward to forgiveness in their own time and in their own space. And sometimes it happens and, and sometimes it doesn't happen as quickly as you'd like. Whatever happens, though, commit to treating others with compassion and empathy and respect. And sometimes it's enough to say, I don't agree with you, but let's move on. And you'll discover those glimmers of joy in your future if you can let go of some of those ill feelings that you may be having because of what someone said or did or didn't do. Forgiveness leads to healthier relationships, as I said. There's an improved mental health. You have less anxiety and stress and hostility. It helps to lower that blood pressure. And you have fewer um, symptoms of depression. So you're gonna be able to fight off some of those illnesses. You're gonna have improved heart health, as I said, and also you're gonna feel better about who you are and what you do. So in the words of Martin Luther King Jr., forgiveness is not an occasional act. It's a constant attitude. So it's really thinking about how can I move forward with this? How can I let go of some of the ill feelings that I have, but move forward to find those glimmers of joy in the relationships and experiences that you have with family and friends? So my resources for today come from Mayo Clinic, John Hopkins Medicine, and also that book that I talked about a couple months ago, Sit Down to Rise Up. So I hope that you've enjoyed today's little um, topic and think about how you might be able to create more forgiveness in your life. Have a wonderful month and we'll see you soon. Bye.